If you're still looking to get away this summer, you may have a tough time steering your way into a rental car reservation. Rental companies have fewer vehicles on their lots and prices are skyrocketing for those that remain. CBS 8's Rocio De La Fe has been digging into the problem all day and is working for you to find solutions. Whether you're traveling for pleasure or for business, many Americans are finding it increasingly difficult to rent a car, especially in high demand areas and tourist destinations like San Diego. It's a problem that seems to have no end in sight. When Gabby Rodriguez booked her flight to San Diego from Florida, she knew she would need a car to get around. At first, I was just trying to get a car to like get around San Diego, and I actually I wanted to make it a whole road trip out of it, so I couldn't just rely on public transportation. Uh, but when I found myself in the search of this car, I just could not find any anything available. She tried booking a car with Enterprise, but only to find out there were no cars available. There were no cars available at any price range during the days that I needed. Um, so I had to I had to find other ways to get around, which are also expensive and not everyone can afford. Pietro Galli travels frequently for work. The company he works for has a partnership with Hertz, but says when he tried booking two of his most recent work trips, he ran into the same problem as Rodriguez. It's very interesting that it's not only affecting you know people going on vacation, but also people going on business. Gali says after wasting hours on the phone with Hertz, he tried Enterprise. He found a car, but with a much higher price tag. You don't have leverage. According to AAA, consumers are paying about $40 a day more for rentals than in 2019. I reached out to both Enterprise and Hertz. In a statement, Hertz says, we're seeing strong demand this summer, especially in tourist destinations such as San Diego. We advise customers to book as early as possible. Another tip is to consider booking at neighborhood car rental locations, which may have more availability when airport volumes are high. But in Gali's case, he tells me even neighborhood locations had no rentals available. I tried booking in every single Hertz location in the area, which I'm talking about more than seven locations, non-availability. In a statement, Enterprise says while it has seen significant improvement in its fleet, a key challenge continues to be the global chip shortage and other supply chain constraints that are impacting new car availability. But Rodriguez and Gali say more needs to be done to ensure customers' needs are met. Or if rental cars are going to be this big of an issue, then public transportation has to be a lot more reliable than it currently is. Um, and that's that's not the case with a lot of parts in the country. If you're having trouble renting a car, there are alternatives. Some that I found include Turo, Get Around, Lyft Rentals, Zipcar, and Avail. And if you want to drive electric, try Gig Car Share. Working for you, Rocio De La Fe, CBS 8. And don't forget here at CBS 8, we're working for you. If there is an issue you'd like us to look into, you can email us at workingforyou at cbs8.com.